A new project tracking coverage of presidential debates and their impact on voters. The Internet Archive is using technology to answer questions about media coverage of the showdown between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. William Lajeunesse, live from our West Coast newsroom. William. Well, John, you watch a debate, you have your own opinion, then you listen to what everyone else is saying, how they see it, how Crowdhammer frames it differently, and a day later, your opinion changes. That is why many experts say post-debate coverage is more important than the debate itself, a conversation largely defined by the moments that we in the media choose. Here are the top five tracked by the Internet Archive. Trump apologizes for his remarks on women. Two, he says Bill Clinton was worse. Three, his calls for a special prosecutor. Four, Hillary on Trump's treatment of women. And finally, Trump on hers. Not everybody has time to watch a full 90-minute debate. Uh, people will turn on the morning news and they'll see what their favorite newscaster said about something and that'll be their takeaway. Now, some moments got zero coverage. Trump on the Chinese, Chinese steel, Hillary on Wall Street money, the Supreme Court, Cole, and the EPA. Here are five clips that ran once or twice. The candidates, number one, complimenting each other, Trump criticizing Obamacare, Hillary hitting Trump on minorities, Syria, and Trump on Hillary's controversial speeches. The problem that we have as human beings is we want substance. We want to make informed decisions. We want to be serious about what we're doing. But it's very hard to look away from that shiny object. So in 2004, does it matter? Uh, people looking at the Kerry and Bush debates, one who saw the debate, John, came to one conclusion. Those who saw the post-debate coverage came to another. Back to you. We report, you decide. William Lajeunesse, thanks.